Today we are going to learn the second part from your uh, English textbook chapter 2, The Sound of Music. In this part, we come to know about Bismillah Khan, a Shehnai maestro who has achieved excellence in the field of Shehnai playing. He was awarded Bharat Ratna in 2001 in recognition of his contribution in the field of music. The main characters in this chapter are Aurangzeb, a Mughal emperor who banned the playing of Pungi in the royal court. Bismillah Khan, the legendary Shehnai player who brought this instrument to the front of the world. Rasul Baksh Khan, the grandfather of the great Bismillah Khan. And Paigambar Baksh, the father of Bismillah Khan. Ali Baksh, maternal uncle of Bismillah Khan. Now, uh, the chapter highlights are Emperor Aurangzeb banned the playing of Pungi, but it was re revived by a barber in his court with some improvisation and got the name Shehnai. The sound of Shehnai was considered auspicious and it is a part of a North Indian wedding. Earlier, Bismillah Khan was a player of Gili Danda. But later on, he earned Bharat Ratna. Everyone from Bismillah Khan's family was a professional musician. Bismillah Khan used to practice music on the bank of the Ganga for hours and he became perfect in the art. He had his programs in the All India Radio and played Shehnai from the Red Fort at the time of independence. Bismillah Khan travelled many countries and gave his performance there and impressed all his listeners. He received many awards and recognition from all over the world. He received highest civilian award of India. Let's begin the chapter. Emperor Aurangzeb banned the playing of a musical instrument called Pungi in the royal residence for it had a shrill and pleasant sound. Pungi became the generic name for reeded noisemakers. Few had thought that it would one day be revived. 
a barber of a family of professional musicians who had access to the royal palace decided to improve the tonal quality of the pungi he chose a pipe with a natural hollow stem that was longer and broader than the pungi and made seven holes on the body of the pipe when he played on it closing and opening some of these holes soft and melodious sounds were produced he played the instrument before royalty and everyone was impressed the instrument so different from the pungi had to be given a new name as the story goes since it was first played in the shah's chambers and was played by a nai means barber the instrument was named the shehnai so here is the explanation to this paragraph you have just heard that pungi was banned and then revived emperor aurangzeb had banned the playing of a musical instrument called pungi in the royal residence as it had a shrill and unpleasant sound but a barber of a family of professional musicians decided to improve the tonal quality of the pungi he chose a pipe with a natural hollow stem that was longer and broader than the pungi and made seven holes on the body of the pipe he played the improved instrument before royalty and everyone was impressed the instrument had to be given a new name since it was first played in the shah's chambers and was played by a barber the instrument was named the shehnai